you, sweetheart. Oh. Alex so Scott nice. greeted me with a big cat. smile, we delighted to interact with anyone. You see yourself in the picture? Do you see? Wave. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alex was born with cerebral palsy. He's not sick, but he's been stuck in a Nova Loudon hospital for 26 days. His family is desperately fighting to get him out. I'm trying to find the shortest possible way to get him out of this hospital because there's, it's so risky for him to be here. Alex's human rights are being abused. Mm. I mean, you can't take a handicapped child and just basically leave him in a hospital. Alex is 46 years old. 20 years ago, he moved into this group home in Sterling. 26 days ago, a bout with bronchitis landed him in the hospital. But now his family says the group home won't take him back unless he gets a feeding tube. But the family doesn't want it. Caregivers are sometimes concerned about him choking or aspirating. They've looked at the option of doing a feeding tube, and we've explored it with doctors, and in the end, they said it's a higher risk to do the surgery. Alex's sister and mother bring him homemade food and feed him themselves. Because of a tongue thrust, meals can take a while, but he seems to enjoy eating. Just one thing each day that gives him joy, and to take that away from him, what else would he have? With a grown son stuck in hospital limbo, a mother makes sure he gets enough spoonfuls to keep him happy and healthy. It's quality of life. It's, that's all it's about. That's our big fight. In Lansdowne, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Manager, I'm going to give you the tongue thrust makes the food come forward.